Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's budget spreadsheet for Mac. And this is personal budgeting software using Microsoft Excel for Mac. Currently I'm in the account summary worksheet. Up top here is your list of accounts. And you to add an account or to edit, you just simply click right there. Type in the name of your account and whether it's an asset, something you own like a checking account or a liability something that you owe like a credit card. Next to that is the register balance for each of those accounts. And to the right here is a very helpful feature is where you can set balance goals for each of the accounts. So for example in a savings account maybe you're saving up for a trip or for unexpected expenses. In this particular example you have a $500 goal to reach in that savings account and the current register balance is $202. So in this chart here, you've reached 40% of your goal. Below that is some summary of your accounts, the total assets, total liabilities, and net amount. Below that in the next section is the expense categories to watch. And you can set them right here. You can just select one of the categories. And let's take a look at that first one. Your category that you want to watch is coffee shops spending. And the current month is December 2019. Next to that is the last six months mini chart. And you can see that you're trending up in this particular category. You set a budget for the current month at $25. You've spent so far to date $30. So you're over budget. You can see that in this graph, you spend 120% of your budget. So this allows you to, as you go through the month, make corrective action and either stop spending or make other adjustments that you need to do to stay within budget. Let's scroll down to the next section. And you have here your yearly income statement and your monthly income statement. You have current month and prior month and current year and prior year data. And below that you have the graphs that represent each of those amounts. And below that is not another helpful, very helpful section for tracking trends in a particular category. So in this particular category we're looking at, you just set it right here, you choose your category and the time period, this year, last year, and last 12 months. So we're looking at restaurants and dining. We have actual amounts for this year, budget amounts, and then the difference. So the budget amount is that light gray area in the chart, and the green is the actual amounts. And you can see here that we're trending up for this particular category. So once again, this allows you to see that trend and to make adjustments if necessary. And you can see here that over to the right here, we have these two red indicator lights indicating that we went over budget. And the next month, we took an adjustment, we made an adjustment, and we didn't go over budget. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top here, and I'm going to minimize that. And you can see all of that data in that one worksheet. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in, and let's take a look at the particular registers and let's look at this first one the bank checking account I'm going to click there and here's where you enter your transactions for this account a couple things I want to point out is that this program allows you to split transactions and that is very helpful to better reflect your actual expenses so in this case you went to Walmart and you spent a hundred dollars and you broke it up between two different categories groceries, and personal care products. This number here is automatically generated and it represents this particular split group. When you do another one, it will call it split group number two. Also, it's very helpful when you're totaling these split items up. If you notice here, that automatically tells you how much is the split itemization is off. So you know that the last item needs negative twenty dollars to get it to balance. Another feature that's very helpful is when you reconcile your accounts. These check marks here 
you can mark items as clear. So for example, to do that, you use this column right here. I'm going to delete that R. The exclamation point represents an item that's not clear. So to mark it clear, you just simply put an R there and it turns to the check mark. As you scroll down, you can see items that are still outstanding with the exclamation point, and that's this one item right here. And that is represented in this up here summary totals too. You have one item outstanding, negative $50. Your register balance, which is this column here, the last item, $2,900. And the total cleared is the sum of all the items with the green check mark. So you can see here, if you mark this one with an R for reconcile it changes to the check mark and you have no items outstanding. The total register balance, all those items have been cleared. Okay, so that's how this is very helpful for reconciliation. Also, if you have a bunch of items outstanding, right now I have only a couple items in the register, but you can click this macro button and it will show you all of your outstanding items. Just those items. In this case, we just had that one item. It will also put a subtotal here for you. I'm going to go ahead and clear those. Another nice feature in the registers is you could filter items further. So let's say that we just wanted to see our grocery item categories. And we can see here that this register has two of them. You can further filter those by date and other columns here. Maybe you just want to see which groceries at a particular location like Walmart versus Publix. You can do that. So I'm going to clear all filters to see all of the register items. There's other things that you can do here. You can sort by date and go to new transaction. You can insert date to save time instead of typing it in. And you type your transactions directly in the register here. You can delete empty rows, insert a row. You can recategorize, which is really helpful if you want to change from one category to another. And you can also go back to the account summary. So let's also look at the category list and budget sheet. This is where you set and create your own categories and you set a monthly budget for them. So you're going to use these budget amounts that you set to compare to your actual amounts. Let's go back to the account summary and there's one other reporting section right here. And this is where you can see your monthly actual versus budget report. You can choose a different month and different years. I'm going to go back to the current month. And this shows you the actual amounts, budgeted amounts that you set, and differences in the charts that show you how you are progressing in regards to the percent of your budget used, and also indicator and warning lights that help you um, signify what is happening in a particular account. So in this case, the red indicator lights mean that you're over budget. Okay, so let's go back to the account summary. So that's a basic overview of George's budget spreadsheet for Mac.